in lane one, excuse me, heat one, Kim of Valencia in two, Quintana of California in three, Longcob of Tribuco Hills in four, Adonja Curry, she is currently number three in California. She went 54-14 at the Mount Side Relay a couple weeks ago. She'll be in lane five. Brooke Blue, one of the top ninth graders in California, representing Long Beach Wilson in six. Hewitt of Beaumont, Junior, she's gone 58 plus in lane seven. Thomas of Orange Vista in eight, and Tolinto of Sigristum in nine. So in the middle of the track there, watch for Curry and Blue. Curry of Quartz Hill and that powder blue over Navy Blue. She was at Golden Valley a year ago, now representing Quartz Hill and Brooklyn Blue. Brooke Blue, the ninth grader from Wilson, actually her early leader as she'll take us through the first 200. But Curry right there within striking range and on that inside lane. She'll be pulling up to Blue here with 150 to go. In six heats all together, so each heat winner will make up those six legs or six lanes next week, and then only three at larges. But Curry, she's gone 53-87 lifetime, 54-14 this season. Blue, she's gone 57-10. And Curry, he'll bring this one home relatively comfortable there, 56-54, 56-60 corrected. Blue, 57-40. And Long Cobb, great effort there from the Tribuco Hills Junior, 58-90. Hewitt, 59-25. Watching the clock as these next five heats transpire. In heat two, Gutierrez of Shure, Cal of Corps Hill. Chittum of Santiago in four. Brooklyn Bright, she was a Southwestern League champion a week ago, the junior from Myriad Mesa, she'll be in lane five. Jalen Hunter, Long Beach Poly, she was the Moore League runner-up a week ago, she'll be in lane six. Graham Scallon of Claremont in seven, Rucker of Oak Hills in eight. And in lane nine, Deanna Brim, Paloma Valley. Heat two, the girls 400. Right, and Hunter, and Hunter really charging through that first 300 and with a pretty substantial lead, and she's trying to punch her ticket again. That girls team title battle are gonna really come into play next week, and Long Beach Poly and Hunter playing a big factor there in moving on with Graham Scallon of Claremont coming up there for second. Hunter, your winner though, 57.92. She will automatically qualify on to next week and reserve a spot. Heat three here, Carbajal of Anaheim, Brass of Silverado, Ding of Ayala, Kabayan of Myriad Mesa, the ninth grader, but Anjane Lucky is senior to Long Beach Wilson. She is second place the last two years, and she has already made up the stagger on everybody. She is currently number seven in California and went under 55 last week to win the Moore League title. Lewis of Lucerna right on her outside in lane six. Hanson of Beaumont, Stafford of San Juan Hills, and Barajas of Rialto. 
But Lucky, your winner there, she was second place, runner-up the last two years. And she's been kind of kind of hiding her of sorts this season. They've been having her mostly run on relays, but you can see she is ready to go into the postseason and shine just like she has the last two seasons as she's going to roll to the win here. Meanwhile, Lewis of Zacerna trying to chase her down. Ajene Lucky making it look easy there, sub-56. So we go into Heat 4, Heat 4, Division Girls 400. So right, so right here, Thayer Camarillo, Bettinger of Los Alamitos Lugo, Borbene of Rancho Cucamonga, Jordan Thomas of Chino Hills, you saw her on that 4x1 relay team earlier, Mashak of Etiwanda, Casper of Heritage, and Renti of Fontana. All right, boys high jump, boys high jump, please report, this is your last call, boys high jump. Meanwhile, in the middle of the track there, Thomas of Chino Hills trying to snag that automatic qualifying spot. But on her inside, also coming through in the baseline league, Lugo Bourbonnet of Rancho Cucamonga trying to maintain contact, but Jordan Thomas, senior from Chino Hills representing those Huskies and bringing home the automatic qualifier at So six qualifiers here so far. Curry of Quartz Hill, Hunter of Long Beach Poly, Lucky of Long Beach Wilson, and now Thomas of Chino Hills, your automatic qualifiers thus far as we move into heat five. Heat 5, Barnwell of Warren, Medina of Oxnard, Rosalind of Arcadia, she's gone 458. Kayla McBride, she is focused on the one and the two in past years, and now she joins the 400. And you can see why here, as she's gone 5490. She's number five in California, but Hope of Martin Luther King on her outside maintaining contact. Hope has gone 57. In lane eight, Banfield of San Juan Hills, and Hernandez of Coachella Valley in lane nine. So McBride, she has been a Division I medalist in the 100 meters the last two seasons, but now moving up to the four and making the track look like it's going downhill, at least for lane five it is. And McBride, easy winner there, 55. And Hope, 57-32, new school record there from our folks from Martin Luther King. I 
Heat six here, Beal Foothill, Lee of Fountain Valley, Gant of Highland, Emory of Orange of Vista. She is number 10 in California. Hardiman of Jordan, Bradley of Vista Marietta, Nagasawa of Clendale, and Shepard of Cement. And Mercy, Emory, 10th or senior out of Orange Vista. She's in that burnt orange over gray of Orange Vista out of Riverside. And they are projected to finish in the top four next week here, if not third. And Amuri really taking this one by storm here over the first 300 and making sure that she definitely reserves a spot on to next week. On her inside there, Gant of Highland fighting for second spot with Hardiman of Jordan. Very impressive there. The senior out of Orange Vista, 55.08, the fastest time of the session. And Gant, 57.93. Hardeman, 